Everything's balanced. Oh, my microphone's far away. That would be your microphone's what? Far away. Far away. It's my microphone. Also, my chair fell. Anyway, uh, welcome, Pokemon professors, trainers, and champions, to another episode of Poke Packs with Royce and Mike. Yay! And Mike's. Sorry, moving my jacket. I gotta gotta <laughs> rearrange my microphone. Actually, I have got, to fix the camera here. Got my drink. All right. We were completely unprepared. Uh, we were so excited for the week. All right, so. Uh, yeah, we actually have some, we got a bunch of cool stuff over the weekend. Um, yeah, somebody traded in a bunch of Shadowless, which is pretty cool, and I had some Shadowless first editions. Um, and then uh, you'll probably see that we have the Tops cards. Oh, yeah. Like, these are super cool. Like, somebody traded these in. They're really cool. Um, I have the price stickers on the back of them. Um, they're just, Ooh. hey, sweet, we got a subscriber. Hey, thank you, Logan. Thanks for Logan. the subscription, Yay. Logan. Stuck also, on. what's up, Logan? Also, what's up, Stark? Hello. Uh, um, we are doing good. Yeah. Uh, we just started, so we're just about to crack open uh, some packs. But Rice was showing off uh, a the tops cards, dude. A these mini are so binder cool. that we now have at the store. I okay, so I'm a. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, you made it. I didn't know that these were embossed. These have a texture on them. Yes, the, yeah. The foils. That's actually really cool. I will go into these later on. Um, I wrote a blog about the tops cards um, a while back. At this point, I think like two months back. Oh my god, um, but it's. Uh, it's kind of interesting, and I didn't know that they were embossed. So, anyway, uh, so yeah, we've got, you'll notice that we have some pre-release <coughs> kits for Unified Minds. We've got a couple of these in the store, as well as a bunch of Guardians Rising packs. Like, I've got... I think 12? Yeah, I think I counted 12. <laughs> we'll find out sure. in a minute here. Sure, um, What's cool about these two packs is that they've got some really cool trainers. Uh, Unified Minds has tag teams, um, and these are the pre-release kits. So you're going to have promos in them. So, I guess we'll just start cracking. Um, and I'll Straight go into this, like halfway through. Yeah, the, the top thing it. reminds me. Um, I would I'd have to like go back uh, into the archives and rewatch the stream. But I remember um, what like a year ago when I when I brought in um, my binder full of nonsense uh, <sighs> that I ended up selling to the store. Um, I'm pretty sure I had. Um, in one of my like Ziploc bags of nonsense, I'm pretty sure I had some tops cards, and I'm pretty sure those are now uh, in a garbage somewhere. So it happens. Oh, and you have the foil ones. The foil okay, ones yeah, yeah. Cool I mean, yeah, like back then, like we thought it was just like nothing. Um, now people uh, like them. Hello, everybody. Oh my yeah. goodness. Hi. What's up, Hi, Omar? Connor. What's up, Hi, Connor? Uh, all right. So I guess I'll just crack one of these guys first because they're cool. And then I'm, I'm gonna do uh, four, four, and four with each one of these. All right. So let's crack this one. I oh, see. Yeah. Let's that's good. That. It's a good, uh, good system. Yep. Did the mats get the mats come in yet? No. You know what they haven't. Um, I should. I'm gonna let me yell at them. Yes. I'm gonna contact Joe tonight. I will send him an email and uh, I'll get on that for you. I'm sorry. I it's it's been a hack of the year. I've been we've been overwhelmed, dude. <laughs> I have a I have a meeting tomorrow with a couple of libraries or uh, with with Displays Public Library because um, they're gonna purchase comics from us, which is cool. Um, but yeah, we I will I will contact Joe and we'll. We'll talk about yes, yeah, Dark says, yeah, um, just... and also uh, Logan F in the chat for my uh, for my tops cards. Uh, but yeah, Stark says uh, it's always like that. Sometimes the cards are nothing today and will be gold in the future. And yeah, that's honestly like even that stream. Uh, man, I, I'd be curious to like rewatch it um, because what it was is oh. um, that's when I was like cleaning out my garage and I had a bunch of uh, I had a binder of Pokemon cards. There was something that like, crazy in there, but that, then I also um, in a Ziploc bag had like thirty some. Uh, uh, promo cards because like that's back in like early 2000s when I was like playing at like local um, Toys R Us's so I was like competing in events and getting promo cards and I ended up selling those to the store because like at that point in like uh, What was that like early summer of you know 2020 Pokemon was already starting to like heat up again and you know like reach prices that you know like cards had never been at before you know it was like already like doubling and tripling in value and i was like oh you know what uh now is probably a smart time to sell off these pokemon cards they were literally just gathering dust in my uh garage and uh oh boy if i would have only waited another like you know 
eight nine months they would have like doubled in value yet again no like, one knows that's the thing yeah because right? I, I, I had camera. like those uh yeah, yeah let me adjust that um because yeah. i had like um birthday pikachu um and a handful of other just kind of uh cool promo cards um that I sold off because I'm like, yeah, you know, they're they're worth at, at more now. At the time, now. they weren't like super expensive, and then now we're looking back and going, wow, had we known. But it's like it's just like the stock market; no one knows. You know, it just kind of it's just, just like the happens. stock market. Invest everything in a baby; Basically. nothing bad can happen. I've had several people come in and invest in Pokemon, and I'm just like, yo. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, oh, ooh, two mushroom boys. Uh -huh. Um, yeah, I mean, like that's the thing is, yeah, it's, it's all just kind of gone up in value and. We'll see if it continues. Right. Um, I'm noticing a trend with a lot of cards. I repriced a bunch of stuff this morning. Uh, things have gone down. Not tremendously, but enough to be noticeable. Um, I, that doesn't mean that, you know, don't, like, sell, sell, sell. Um, but a lot of, like, the, the more recent stuff, that's mostly what I've priced, is, uh, is slowly going down. Which, I mean, it's that's what happens. Uh, collectability and whether or not people actually play the cards. Um, yeah. It's just a thing. So, we're gonna see what we get. One edge. Did I just, I just pulled this back. <gasps> Look at that so cutie. Cute. He's such a cutie pie. Um, but yeah, speaking of like collectability versus playing, I mean, that was the thing was like, uh, you know, the, the old vintage stuff, there was some value to it, but like people, you know, especially around then, like, we're still a lot of people playing. So like those cards, since they're not really playable, like they had some collector's value, but not a whole lot. But nowadays, like, nobody's really playing and everybody's collecting so they want those old nobody's vintage cards and should have never should have never no one knew no one, no one knew uh, it's it's a thing no one no one Sandy knew boys. and now, now we are here i just got three green cards oh well i'll swap a, exactly yeah stark says uh, i don't know how it works for pokemon cards but, uh, because a lot of them have collect value and some have playable value yeah like this that's, that's the thing is like i feel like at the store at least uh we definitely sold a lot more of like the current stuff hell yeah <laughs> pp boy Hunch. man look at that that's a sweet he's got his little boys down there um but you know anecdotally for us like we would definitely sell far more cards that were like currently being played like you know like i remember like the most valuable card race was like that that tapu coco um from like what was that what was uh the gold one uh, like the off the no no i mean just like the, just, just the, the regular GX. like tapu coco stuff yeah like those ones like that yeah, was like one of the highest like, those were, those yeah and those like um the, the Pico fifty dollars or something like yeah, that yeah charizard and breaks and uh Reshazard. Those were great because people put people will use them to play. Mm -hmm. um, and now we're not Ultra playing. Ultra Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So like yeah. those were cards that were like you know at like peak value because like oh man these are good and they're playable. But like you know like we would sell like vintage cards here and there just kind of as like a somebody would come in. A like, collector would be so like, like oh, oh hey man, I, I used to play card. these yeah. exactly. Yeah, let me get those. And then nowadays it's vice versa. Of, you know like everybody wants the uh, terrifying gum shoes. <laughs> everybody wants like the older stuff because you know that's where more of the value is. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Your other lady? Your your side my, chick? My lady. My lady. Oh wait, All speaking right. of Royce, we got uh Oh that's we right, found Mike, it. Mike got his Cheryl. I got my wife. Got um so now I'm gonna have to where am I? I've got my The bummer is now I need to like I might Royce, am I gonna have to like go on eBay and buy like uh the Pokemon uh Yes. Or these Happy Meal things, yes. just so I could get these like stupid frames, because yes. these are these are the best like inserts that came with those. Is uh, I would think it was like the number four Happy Meal thing. Uh, you would get these sweet little like uh, uh, picture frames, and I have two of them, and I need a third one now for my wife. I've got all of my my wife and my boys. One for the wife and one for the, wife the boys. Minor, yeah. The boys. Eh. Eh. Okay. So now I've just got framed pictures of my, my my children on my desk and then I just need one of my wife and then I'm good to go. Alright, these are all from Sun and Moon, so hopefully we got something good. Mm, Wishy washy. Billy Bird, yeah. That Cheryl awesome. art is great. Yeah. Yeah, I mean like and honestly, uh I so my favorite colors are like green, black, and white, so I mean that was like ninety nine percent of the reason there. Um but I and also that's why I like her over this was the a good card. the rainbow. This was rare. a really good card in play. And now no one cares. Exactly, yeah. Just yeah. It doesn't look cool. I don't want it. Right. I don't care what it does. I just, does it look cool? Nope. Yes, no. <laughs> I mean, speaking of that card. I mean, yeah, speaking of looking cool and like waifu cards, like that's the whole like uh, uh, economy. That one Lily that's that's going the whole for like, yeah. Right I was now. gonna say that's like the whole economy behind that is uh, like the schoolgirl outfit Lily. Like uh, the regular art Lily is like what, like 30, 40? 35 for the uh, regular art Lily from Sun like, Moon, and the one from Ultra Prism is going for 400. Yeah, like three, 400. So Explain. yeah, they Explain. 
People are crazy. I got some. Explain. Uh, have you seen the school girl outfit? Do you have this one? I don't think so. Okay. This is We're Mike's just, collecting all the Yuka Mori whole art is just and you a, chucking a, a, cards at me now. I mean, hell yeah. Petrat. A Lolan Geo dude with hair. Gross. Oh, hey, I got a full art Toxapex. Nice. Ooh. That's cool. It's like a three dollar card. The art's cool. Like that's just like the art's cool and it's what got this really cool man? like texture. Who is that man? Who is that man? Who is she? Anyway, my choke and energy recycler. Set. Yeah, waifu cards. Yeah, waifu cards. I have an entire section in the store. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's, oh wait, you already have this one. I was gonna say yeah. That's uh, it's it's the point of you know you gotta know your audience. So we basically separated uh, in one of our. Um, so the, the husbandos. I have, I, have uh, I think I've got a boss's orders and like a blues tackle. Do, do we have dad bod uh, rose? Or did he already sell? No, no, he's not a, he's not in the case. He's like That's the ultimate eight dollars. Yeah. I think you already have this one. This Murkrow? Yes, yeah. Okay. Thanksgiving Murkrow. Yeah. Look at that cute boy. That's that's a uh, race you just like that's a Pokemon card right there. Look at that drawing. <laughs> Every pack there's gonna be a card for me. Been busy in the store today. Not really, we've gotten stuff done. I've, uh... I mean, yeah, like, that's, that's the thing, yeah. Stark, is, like, uh, it may sound silly, but, like, that's the thing, is, like, it is a, um, in the same way that, like, now Royce has, uh, the binder for Shadowless, like, since we've gotten more space in the, um, uh, the display cases up front, uh, we've just kind of, you know, been separating binders into kind of more themes and specific things, because otherwise, you know, it's just, like, here is just a, you know, big alphabetical binder, and there's not too much to show off, but, I mean, like, if there are trends that people like of, you know, shadowless and first edition and trainers versus, uh, you know, regulars and, like, price ranges, it makes more sense to separate those. So, yeah, like, now we've got the, the waifu and husband section, so. Wait, is that also Yuki? Mm, no, this is Mitsuhiro Arita. Okay. This is not. It looks, looks cool. It looks yeah, just art. 3D, but yeah. Every pack. Mike running towards these cards. Um, yeah, we have to separate a bunch of stuff, and I've, I've actually been, ex like, we've been expanding a lot, and so we've had to get a lot of Trevenant. a bunch more binders i'm actually going to show you the uh the shadowless mm. binder in just a second here all right all right so out of those f eight packs i got a toxic packs you know you win some you lose some exactly well we still got what six nope 16 more yep yep well because i'm gonna show off <laughs> let the, me do my math the, this binder really quick that cork binder yeah i don't have a cover for this yet but this is the uh this is the shadowless binder. So uh, you, may have, you may have to lift it up a little bit just to see no. closer, but eh. there you go. Eh. Time, Time to eat easier. there. All right. Food Enjoy, Stark. Let us know what you food got. Is good. Um, what up, resell? But this is this is shadowless and shadowless first edition. Um, I have very few first edition shadowless, but like a guy came in and sold us a bunch of shadowless that I had to go through, and that was just a pain. But like, do I mean, a scan it's, over it's, those pages. Let's see what we got. I mean, I got a lot of stuff, yeah. Onyx. First edition and just Shadowless, and then, and then... A lot of Porygons. Yep, a lot of Porygons. And then I, I can't... Eh. Star me and Star you. A Squirtle. Singular Yeah, it's just, it's just a whole... I mean, I've I got it's just alphabetical. Yeah. Damn. It's, it's all uh, Shadowless from base set, because that was the only set that was Shadowless. Um, they're hard to find. Um, we can negotiate prices. So these aren't these aren't firm. Um, and like some of them are, are great, some of them aren't. Um, I got a first edition Shadowless uh, DCE. I had somebody call earlier today about it, but I don't know. I don't mod play. In. It's moderately played. I mean, that's something, you know. And dollar cards in the Shadowless section, uh, mm -hmm. the, the trainer section. But yeah, it's just a it's just a cool binder that dude traded in. Yeah. Um, fun fact about the Vulpix: <clears throat> um, every single Vulpix that's from base set in our store is misprinted. Coincidence? I, I think not. I think not. I don't know what it is, but uh, it's so a misprint. What's the misprint. So, does everybody see the problem there? Oh, HP yes, 50 versus too, 70 yeah. HP. The, the this should be HP. 70 HP instead of HP 50. It's just a weird, weird thing. Uh, there are ones that aren't like this, but every single one in the store is like this, so I don't know. They find their way home, I guess, yeah. It's it's one, of, it's one of those things where I'm just like, I'm looking at it going, what is wrong with this? Hang on. Ah! And then I, yeah. Just 
yelling for a minute. Basically, I did sell the first edition Shadows Mod Champ for fifteen dollars. It was heavily played, and the guy was happy with it, which is what matters, you know. Um, HP but, happy played. Yeah, yes, happily played. I'm gonna put a sign on here saying it's Shadowless. Um, but I just did this today because that was over the weekend. That was a mess. Mhm. Mm mhm. All right. Code card. Code card. Code card. There we go. And then, um, what else have I got that I can show off? I'll, I'll crack some more stuff, and then I'll show off another thing. Mm, Toxapex goes here. Crack this boy. Um, then I'll go into the, um, uh, the tops card binder. Sure. Uh, what, so, uh, in the Unified Minds uh, Build a Battle Kit, you get that seated pack with the promo card. Yes. Yeah, so uh, do you know what the four ones are? Yeah, uh, say. I don't recall. One of them's Tapafini. I can never remember what they are. Uh, but Tapafini. Eh. Terrakion. Cool. Cool, cool. Yeah. Halfway there, Rice. Yep. I have three packs. And then I don't remember which what the money card was. I think it was Tapafini. Though it may have not have been. I don't remember. There's like they're not amazing promos, but they're cool because they've got different yeah. art. Some um, more than others. Obviously, uh, what was it? Um, the, the Charizard one from Vivid Voltage. Vivid Voltage. Holy cow, that card. I, we just sold out of those from... yesterday. Really? Uh-huh. And we had a billion of those for a while. Yeah. People bought them because they were cool and people wanted to get them It's graded. Charizard, yeah. It's a Zard. Um, oh, I didn't tell you. We got a Chonky Boy in the store. Uh, uh, one big Chonky Boy. The uh, Pikachu? The, the Chonky Boy. The, the Chonkachu. We have a Chonka Chew. We're selling it for 400 Hell yeah. Yep. And Titan. Man, someone told me that you could get better cards in the pre-release kits, and I don't know if I believe that. It's selling out everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, Logan, everything Pokemon. It's moving. I got Ooh, something. I saw something shiny. I got something, yep. I think it's a trainer. Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's find out. Yo, it's a blue tactics! Hell yeah! Heck yeah! Looking fancy. Rice, oh, look at that! Put him in the husband pile. Yeah, he's going. I have one of these. He's gonna. He's gonna go into husbando. the husbando. Hell he's yeah! Gonna, he's gonna be a husbando. That's awesome, sir. I'm happy. That's great. That makes me really happy. Hell yeah! He's like perfectly centered too. Actually, I want to like take That's a look at him. That's what makes him a good husband. You want your husband to be perfectly <laughs> centered. centered. He's not perfectly centered. Oh well. He's a cool card. Yeah, that backdrop. Yeah, that yeah, backdrop exactly, is yeah. great. It's green it's and out like there yellow. in a field of flowers. That's cool. I'm a little upset that we didn't get Green's tactics in English, but I mean, again, he wins. I mean, most people don't even know who Green would be. I think. Right. We never had that uh, in the games. I've shown you that art, right? Uh. Is it Squirtle. Possibly. Probably. Oh, look, white card. Oh, I got something else. Holy cow! Awesome. All right, here we go. Fletchinder, Snover. Yeah, the moment I said. Whoa. Oh, yeah, I think I've got that one, but that's cool. You sure? Let's see. So you know where I can't. I can't you know, have too many say. of them. Yeah, I was gonna say. Let's, let's toss you that line. Um, the moment I said that, like, I don't know if I believe that you get better cards in the pre-release kits. I get like two better cards, and then, sweet. <laughs> that's a cool looking boy. I. That's funny. I feel like I have never seen a like a more modern like Aerodactyl. I feel like that was one that was always just like in my mind is perpetually just like first gen uh, like. Obviously, fossil packs only. Right, like he was an old, he was an old like boy. Even that, even that CG makes him look like, you know, like early 2000s CG. Right. Like that took like 50 people to to make. <laughs> right. Thousands old, of dollars. The old that. school Diglett from way back when. Yeah, exactly. With the bad CG. Yeah, like all five polygons. Oh my god. Do you like oh, GX or V dude, cards? Oh, dude, that Pikachu oh, is adorable. That's adorable. Yeah. That's adorable. Uh, um, so. I think I like the V cards better, but yeah. hear, hear me out. I think it's because there's no frame. Yes, I was gonna say yeah. That's that's it for me. It's like I like um I in even in Magic and other card games where like cards kind of like bypass the frame or kind of you know do fun stuff with that. Uh, and it looks better. It's more full art. Um, honestly, I'm I, I, it's kind of bummed at like the GX cards because they usually just have like a flat color in the background. And it's not as interesting. Whereas like the V ones tend to have like uh, uh like you know like different patterns and like some like galaxies and like whooshes going you know, on behind well, it. You can just barely tell like it's like there's something going on behind the Aerodactyl 
but like but even that it's just like here's yeah, just like, like a what flat I, yeah. color yeah exactly my only pr- yeah my, some pop more. My, my problem with the v cards is how many different gosh darn versions of them there are you know how many times i've had to type in single strike urshifu today to reprice stuff at least six more than a single time at least six because there's six different versions of that stupid card six strike or six shifu. yeah all right so that's that's those four packs i'm gonna open the guardians rising i have to remember to take these out of the system oops <laughs> whoopsies too bad they're ours now right oh no oh no is that mike. a bad what mike Ooh. You're gonna collect these now? World. I guess. I've heard, I'm, I'm look, I can see the Zubat one from here. I've already got a stack going. Sako Ito? Hell cute. yeah. Cute. Oh, cute little cute rock, rock, rock. That's, that's, that's Mike's face right now. Yeah. Just, <laughs> ah, <laughs> it's me leaving the store. <laughs> see ya. Yep. Nick? No, I'm not. No. That's mean. Um, is that Davis? Yeah, probably. <laughs> just hanging out in the jungle, yelling. Yeah, being angry. It's Johnny. And angry, but it's Johnny. Johnny. Yeah. Johnny. Yep. And then, Watchdog. I. It's not a real Pokemon, Royce. Yeah, it's the lookout Pokemon. It's not, I. That's not real. I've never know, seen that before. Yeah, it's a weird. That's one of the weird ones. Steve and I were driving around last night. Pokemon cards, Royce. Well, Steve and I were driving around last night. He's like, "Aren't there like eleven hundred Pokemon if you're including regional variants?" And yeah. I just looked at him and sighed and went, "Yes." Still fun because every once in a while there's ones like that that I'm like. Oh, Watchdog, Scraggy. Exactly. Yeah. Oh my god. Like this is some trivia game where you're you're just like one of these Pokemon isn't real and I see that there's, one I'm like there it is. There's a comic that somebody that's a white card. There's a comic that somebody made that was. Uh, we Welcome back, up, Stark. What'd you eat? Whew, we need we're, to come up with a, you. with a new Pokemon. Somebody get the the Swedish intern. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. There's a made up Pokemon. Phantom. Phantom. I got something. I. Whalmer. He's a chonky boy. He is. Ooh, Watch dabbing him. on him. <laughs> He's doing a dab. Whoosh. Yep. I don't know what this guy's doing. Gross. I don't right. know there's nothing good about that. Spooky boy and, and, and. Turtonator. Yeah. Turtonator. That's it. Yeah, like that's, like, that's good. Like, there's, like, it, it's bigger art. There's, like, a cool, like, fire uh, scene happening this behind him. It's GX, not just. Mike. Sure, but I mean, like, I guess that style of them, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, the. The fact where there's just it looks cool. That is a spooky glaley. Chicken and rice, Chicken. always good. Stark. Another watchdog and then fake ass Pokemon. Derp. Chicken and rice, that's tasty. Tasty feed. Yeah. Like I feel like if I could probably subsist the rest of my life on just chicken and rice and peanut butter. And peanut butter. Don't forget the butter. You need some butter. You need some dairy in that. It's in the rice. It's in the peanut butter. That's not. Half that's, peanut, half butter. That's not. That's gross. That's gross. I feel like, yeah, chicken and rice, peanut butter, and iced coffee, and I could be... Yeah, and that one that's going past the border makes it look more 3D. Yeah, that's a thing. It's definitely a thing. I'm going to swap out Crocodiles. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was talking about, Logan, is the fact that, yeah, like, it kind of goes out and over. It's not just stuck in the frame, and then, like, cool backgrounds, and, like, not just that flat color. That Aerodactyl, like, it looks old. I I respect what they did for, like, the full arts, but at the same time, I'm just like, yeah, that's not... And like the, you're, you're just going back to to the EX era with that kind of stuff, you know. All right, Jungmo. Didn't I just open this pack? Yeah. Like, look at that guy. Aw. Fletchling. That that's like that's that's a cute card. Like the that's tiny should, Robin it. Pokemon. Put that aside. That's got to be worth something. This right? amiable Pokemon is easy to train, when, but when battle is joined, it shows its ferocious side. That guy doesn't have a ferocious side. Look at that guy. Okay, he's adorable. Yeah. That's okay. Ten dollars or best offer. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, no, you don't have to throw it to me. I'm like, that's that's gotta be something, right? It's not. That, it's a bulk card. It's a bulk. Look at him. He's in bulk boy. about him. Oh. Another one of your boys. in my pile. Yep. I heard rice. I feel summoned. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> You didn't hear more Peko though, yeah. so. No, there's no Not more yet. Pekos. Yeah, no, I was going to say, these sets I don't think have more Peko. No, right? more Peko was Gen 8. These are all Gen 7. Damn. I know. Somebody, was, somebody somewhere was like, what if we just made uh, Pikachu one, again? This is cute. This is the Yukamori. Last name is Forest, I think, if, if my Japanese is right. I knew a guy uh, named Morito, which means uh, Forest Child, which I thought was cool. Sure. Yeah. 
You know, when you think about it, Royce, we're all Moritos. That's that's not how that works, because Toll is the male oh. ending. Anyway, I'm just gonna. Well, smoosh, just gonna. Just gonna hit that old dusty trail. Yep, end the stream early, I'll just drink my my tea. Your yoo hoo. Oh, Alright, so I'm, I'm actually gonna show yoo -hoo. off this binder. With these cards. Hell yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna get these guys out of the way. Buy garbage cards. Right? <laughs> these are the money for... cards. Alright, so, so yeah, I'm I actually gonna... So I actually have two Alakazams. I do wanna show off the the cool foiling. Damn, look at that. Is that cool or what? So these were printed anywhere from 1999 to 2004, if I'm not mistaken. I unfortunately do really? not recall the actual, like the, what the foilings were. I have a blog on it. I've written a blog about this on Pika Stocks. Um, I think I think it was entitled Hitmon Tops because I am great at making jokes. Um, yeah, good. these were That's like super shiny. Uh, these were really cool. And these are textured. Like, these were embossed. Uh, these weren't any thicker than the regular the regular ones. Let me get the other Alexander really quick. Hang on. I've got a bunch of these. I don't have all of them foil, but... Um, Hell yeah, that Jesse one. I saw that, I'm like, how is that not like $50? Right. She's or best seven. offer. Right. Or no, she, yeah, she's seven. So, like, here's the regular oh, nice. one, and then here's the here's the foil one. Yeah. I... I don't remember which line this particular foiling was because I have like one of each of them. Mm -hmm. um, these aren't super expensive. Yeah, um, I was gonna say I saw cool. like ran the gamut of like two to ten on average. And then yeah, this is another one that's got a couple little more expensive. This is a different different foil. Mm -hmm. um, you can't really tell, but it's, it's like, got a, like a that radiant. Behind him, yeah, yeah, it's the radiant. Um, yeah, this is the beadrill. This was just a collectible card thing. Who's a Pokemon? Beechel's got bad posture. Mikey's an insect. <laughs> yeah, so these were from Doesn't Tops. Mean you can't stand up straight. Um, <laughs> these cards look cool. Yeah, these were from. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they they use like the classic anime art, so like the original drawings. I love it. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't specify like what year they were from. Like it was just ninety nine, but it's um. Although, like these are from different years. Logan said it's not about the price, though, just a cool collection. And that is correct. Although, uh, I remember we did sell that Charizard one that was like 50, 75? Am I crazy? This is a different one that's got different foiling. Dog Trio. Team Challenge on 421? Yeah, awesome. I'm sure there is. That doesn't surprise me at all. Um, this is a cool, another cool foiling. Uh, on that, the blog that I posted, there's, I think I have Charizard, like a Charizard of each and every different. Yeah. Foiling, like specifying what the foils are. Um, I do, I do want to show off the Jessie, only because they misspelled her name. Oh yeah. Yep. They Mis didn't misprint Jessie. Uh huh. Not even a misprint. This is just a known. What is it? Error. J E S S, -S E. S E. How is it spelled? J E S S I E. I -E. Okay. I, that would have slipped right past me. I'd have never known. Yeah, th this was from the series where they didn't say it was Merrill or Azumarill. It was Pika Blue. Remember uh, Pika Blue? Yes, exactly. Yeah. And Joe Fish asks, uh, do you have the Electrode or Voltorb one? I don't think so. I was going to say, uh, unfortunately, Joe, when I was talking about the at the beginning of the stream, I think I, when I had these, I'm pretty sure I had one of those because I, I could see it in my mind's eye, and I'm pretty sure that guy is Venusaur. now in the garbage. Uh, we also have the I Arcanine. Apologize. Yeah, yeah, cause I, yeah, that's the thing is I had those um those little like uh, uh holofoil or hologram like lenticular um the lenticular things yeah yeah look at him whoa 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 these are so cool <laughs> actually Man. I had a I had a ruler when I was growing up from like a Dragon Ball version of this uh -huh. I don't even know how we got it. I was going to say, uh, remember when, like, lenticulars were, like, the peak of, like, childhood <laughs> entertainment technology? Yeah, it was a really ugly Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, I could barely really even read that. Bond. I'm like, is that an S, an E, an S? Yeah. I've, so these are all just alphabetical. I just put them in here. Um, okay, so Hell this yeah. big boy. I'm going to get get past this. But this big boy. I had never seen one of these before. This isn't a special. It's like a, an actual card. This is just the full... This is just what it looks like. Yeah. Two of five. Oh, who do you think the other four are? I know, I know who they are because somebody saw Char the entire show. Charmander, set. Pikachu, um, uh, Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur, and I think it's Meowth. He he oh, yeah. Yeah, that story checks out. 
Yeah. But like, good luck finding prices on these because this is the oversized version. I found like three prices and I'm like, it's 15 bucks because I said so. Yeah. Um, Fight me. But we can talk pricing. But like, this is, this is just like. And we're talking about $15. Really cool. yep. That's all I'm talking. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, no, that's, that's cool. I like it. It's just like a big, like, I probably would have used one as like a bookmark. You know, honestly. Back when I could um, read. Also, this is the the Venusaur binder uh, that has the two big pages to carry the big cards, and I thought this would be a good way to... to yeah, uh, so when you open that, I'm like, why do we have... We have why is it in the middle? Because it's, it's that particular binder. Um, but I'm going to see if I can find the um, Persian... I love that Persian. Pidgeotto, Poliwhirl, Brydon. Poliwhirl just stand in there. I don't have an Electro or Voltorb. Uh, War Turtle and Zubat. <laughs> Uh, fun fact, guess what Zubat's name is in Japanese? Uh, Dumbat. Stupid guy. It's Zubat. Get out of the cave. It's Zubat. Uh, we had a, a huge buy with a bunch of uh, Japanese cards in it, which I unfortunately have up front. I, don't, I haven't displayed those yet. Um, but one of my favorite cards from them is um, Natsume no Psychic Controlu. Something psychic controller. Sabrina's psychic control. Ah, hell that's, yeah. That's, yeah, that's a, that's a... Is that art band, Royce? That is not one of the band art cards. That's, <laughs> Damn it. I do, I do have some band art cards that I'm yeah, not going to show on stream. Too hot for stream, boys. <laughs> uh, they're the original Japanese arts that are banned in English. Um, yeah, these are like anywhere from $2 to, to 15 for the, yeah. the big card. Yeah, I, I, think, I think it's 20 for the... Most of the regular ones, it's like 2 to 7. Psyduck. Yeah, it's like 20 for the side because the side is cool. Again, we can talk prices. It's fine. I'm here tomorrow. Um, yeah, I just thought this was a cool. My lamp shade just floated. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, like, that's, yeah. yeah, it's, it's my collection. Yeah, that's, no, that's, that's mine. Cause I, I've got it. Cause it's, it's, <laughs> uh, I've got uh, the Misty's, um, Misty's Determination. Tears. Is that what it was? Misty's Determination. Uh, what is the, the, the banner? Tears. Misty's Tears. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, there is a Misty's Determination. Not that card, though. Not that card. Um, and All right, so I'm going to keep cracking stuff. That's uh, that muck or whatever that's coming out the of the... Grimer that's coming grimer. out of the... The yeah. Grimer that's coming out of the, um, out of the sewer. sewer. And there's, like, a girl walking by, and he's, like, he, looking up at her, but the eyes not, are, like, under not, the skirts. He's not actually looking up at I'm on skirt. to Grimer. Like, it's just... It's, uh, there's also a couple of Jinx. Yeah, I, I won't Jinx. Go, I won't uh, go into that. Know. I won't go into Let's that. See. Um... Uh, and I, I did, it's funny, the day that I bought the one card with the, um, that symbol on it. Yeah, the swastika. It's sold. It's yeah. sold. Oh, yeah. I love it. Um, I, I mean, like, that's funny. the thing, it's like, I, I, like, I, I don't really collect Pokemon cards, but I definitely collect cool ones like that, just because it's, there's interesting, like, you know, stories behind them, or it's just, it's cool. Uh, that, that okay. Sabrina one is, is definitely kind of lame. Hi, Johnny. It's, it's we just like, mentioned you. Oh, hey, Mike. Hey, Johnny. What's a mic and fire? Uh, I like a flyer. Yeah. Why are you putting that there? What is that? Put it in the the graveyard. It yeah, belongs. Yes. We got a market it's, place it's, it's thing. The, yes. Oh, it's that one. Yeah, the one that you asked about. Everything's here. Everything except that damage book. I'll put it. Throw it in the way. That yeah. damn edge book. Thank you, you, Johnny. <laughs> live on stream. Love. Love live on stream. What is it? Oh! <laughs> Can I show this off? Real quick, uh, Comics uh. Corner. Every Thursday, <laughs> come on in for nonsense like this. This is on Comic Book. Yeah. I just, I can't get enough of the fact that's, that he has his own comic. That's what's so about me at today. Yeah, because that's, that's like the full so on uh, Ash vs. Evil I Dead. Just, uh, I don't. He's a crazy person. Yeah. He's really funny, but he's just another crazy person. There's comics. Another for YouTuber. You. Uh, if you thought, if you thought Pokemon cards were weird, when you see I'm good. comics. Oh my god, Markiplier. Markiplier has his own comic. Oh dear. Anyway, alright. Speak of Naughty Collection. Yeah, exactly. That's a... Uh, Axew? That's cute. Tell me when I'll be there. Tell me when I'll be there. Uh, well we will, uh, yeah, sorry, we didn't actually, uh, stream last Thursday. Uh, not feeling too oh, good, hey. but... This Thursday, uh, we'll be talking Walking Dead uh, hardcover volume three, which is issues 26 through 32. So if you want to talk Walking Dead, join us on Thursday at uh, 8 p.m. Central. Johnny and I will be there uh, like Mewtwo and Mew, just hanging out and yelling about, you just pulled this? Yes, we did. I just, yeah, I'm like, I'm going to crack this pack, and then boom, this guy. Love it. That was a good duck. 
Thank you. It's not super expensive, but man, it's a cool card. <gasps> uh, Dedenne's adorable. Hold on. Look at that cute Look boy. Look at that guy. He's just eating like little berries. How big is Dedenne? I was going to say, that's like... He's point... What? He's... What? Exactly, yeah, there you go, Stark. Yeah, that's a card that actually is... He's eight is... inches tall? No, he's not. That's not that. That's, that's a... what it's like. He's eight inches tall, I he's, think. He's like eight centimeters tall in that, in that yeah, picture. Yeah, but he's so tiny. Oh, what a very cutie, sized. Very sized, indeed. All right, so going through your five minutes, it's great because that's the that's the that's card. card. That's the card. There it is. That's, that, that's the card. All right. Throw the rest of the packs out. We got the good one. Yep, we got sometimes the chase card. We got everybody go home. All right, I I'm just swap home. out code cards. Okay. I'm thinking about it. Code card. No, I'm thinking about it. I've got a pile of code cards back here. What am I doing? What am I doing, Mike? What am I doing? Me? Re. Uh, Re. Okay, this is just a weird. I don't. I don't think I like this Pokemon. It's weird. No, I bet. Siwaddle. Scorpy. Dratini's cute. <laughs> and Escavalier, which is the cavalry Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Cavalry caviar. Yes, that's 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 DJ. All right. <laughs> Thank you. What? Wow. Just people just doodling on cards apparently. That's <sighs> okay. It's a cute sea cucumber Pokemon. W what? Oh, it evolves into Archaeops. I knew that. And then Yanmega. Sure. Okay. Sure. Sure. Moving on. I can't believe I got the Mewtwo in me. That's great. That's cool. Green card. Be cushion. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So. The thing with sea cucumbers is that they can, uh, they can regurgitate like their insides Gross. as a defense mechanism, and that's like Puku Muku's thing. That's he put the puke in Puky Muku. Yeah, that's that's the yeah. original Pukemon. Yeah. Well, it's got the Zapdos. We had another card that had Moltres on it. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. Look at that determination, Royce. Mm. Man, I, we could all. That's, oh, that's the swagger. That's the swagger from his move. You spent a colorless to do that walk. Yep. Sure. Boypole. Shermish and Steelix. Nice. Sure. Uh, there was a new update from um, Terminal Montage. Uh, and they did a... What? That's another turtle. Uh, they did another video about um, the Megas. And how the Megas... <laughs> all the Megas fighting. You be valid. And I mean, he's saggy and he's swaggy. And uh, Ray Mega Rayquaza just killed everybody. Good yeah. thing Megas don't exist. Because Mega Rayquaza is just like, nope. Ray Ray. That's okay. cute. Uh, you know what they do? They still kill children. That's cute. I mean, okay. that guy just took one of my, my firstborn children. I'd be like, yep, I guess he earned it then. Floating away. Gone? Sure. To be honest, Megas, I still yeah. find Mega Pokemon strange, says Stark Bond. Also, Royce, that's a uh, Wooly World boy, so... Yeah, Wooly World. Arche yeah, Archaeops. Archaeopteryx. Yep. Dragonite, yeah, nice. Okay. Is he okay? <laughs> He's, He's like, fine. He's can, taking a nap. He's resting his eyes. That's, I, that's bad. I don't like that. What, this one? Bidoof. He evolves from Bidoof. Deviant art uh, looking guy. Right. All right, four more packs. Four more packs, guys. Woo! Eh. These pairs are garbage. I can't open them. What a pain. I'm happy to pull blue stackers, so though. That's cool. Yeah, not bad. Blues and the uh, Mewtwo and Mew. Yep. The other three are okay. I mean, it's something to like. Man. I do think it's good that, like, in the new stuff, you can get better. You can get better pulls. <laughs> He's having a good time. Yeah. <gasps> Hell yeah. It's your boy Mimi Q. No so more Peko, but it'll do. Yeah. Uh, the GX has dropped like three bucks for a little in Sam Slash. That was Travis leaving. <laughs> Bye, Travis. Yeah, this was a good card in the TCG, and it is it's just a silly card. Um, now here's another card. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Oh my god. Green card. Sad face. 
So about code cards. Code cards. Oh no, code card. Um, yeah, the megas are interesting because you have to use like a mega stone. I mm -hmm. power creep. The one good thing about EX is that you don't have to evolve them. Uh, GX is you do. V's you don't, but V max is yeah. you do. You have to evolve from the, mm -hmm. the V. Um, I had a kid in earlier today who was like, "Do you have a V max of this card?" And I'm like, "No, sorry." Like, I kind of felt bad, and then he was just, "Oh no, no, he wanted the V." And I did have the V, but I had the V Max, and he was yeah. just like, "You know what? Can I swap it out for these two V, Ma v and V Maxes?" I'm like, "Sure, <laughs> five dollars." Five dollar holler. Yep, a big boy. Um, yeah, but but Megas, Megas apparently don't exist. They've they've killed Megas. Megas don't exist any longer. That was quick. It okay. feels right. Megas, God, Megas were from five years ago. Megas ended five years ago. I was, this is last year, I was watching a video and they were talking about, about Pokemon, how excited they were for, like, the new series and all the new starters, and they named the starters, and I was like, oh, right, this video's from four years ago, and they came out with Gen 7. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, Stark says I stopped playing after they released GX. Gumi. Oh, Gumi. Wait. Yeah, that, yeah, you're fine. I, I get it. There's, there's... Wait, is that, we... Okay. <gasps> Okay, that's cute. He's back. That's cute. He's a cute boy. That's not cute at all. It's the opposite. Uh, the video with the Megas, Sharpedo just throws teeth at people. <laughs> and now I'm returning when no more GX will be released. Yeah, you just, you just dodged him. Yep. Yeah, isn't... Uh, what's it called? Uh, rotation happens in August, I think? I think so, yeah. Something like, like that. I know summer, early fall. I feel bad for the poor kids who haven't been able to play because they've been stuck in Masters for so long. Man, another green card. Jeez. Yeah, what? standard rotates in August, says Stark. Yep. Carvana. Cotton E. Bellsprout. Cotton Eye Joe. That's cool. No. Wait, that's not Cotton Eye Joe. <laughs> Where did he come from? Where did he go? Oh my god. Well, he's in my hand. <laughs> what is Snorrent even doing? He's like like reflecting in ice. Is that what's going on there? I have no idea. Wait, yeah. Oh no, he's like com he's coming out of the fridge. Yeah, there's the fridge and the ice box. What's the person doing? They're just outside. Sure. <gasps> what's that person doing? Okay, that's doing? cute. That's adorable. That's I love Mimi Q. Mimi Q is so cute. Pikachu, Danaya, what the what? heck? More fake Pokemon, Ice. I found the fake one. Pom pom punch. Yeah, that's that's not real. That's not real. Feather dance. During your next turn, this Pokemon's pom pom punch. Uh, Attacks base damage is a hundred. <laughs> you have to use an energy for that, but yeah, I mean, okay. just gotta. I mean, that's. I you guess. can only use, you can do this the Dorito Pokemon. You can only do this like. Okay, that doesn't make any sense because you have to wait a turn. Yeah. Okay, that seems dumb. Considering it's only it's a ninety HP Pokemon. Yeah. Sure. I mean, I guess turn two you could have a hundred damage ready for turn three. I don't know if that's good or not. Sure. Probably not good. It's not. That's not. That's why it's a pop but it, card. But it feels nice. Well, that that's upsetting because I've opened. Yeah. A bunch 16, of packs. No. No. Yeah. Twenty-four packs. Yep, twenty-four packs. Bunch of bulk and five cards worth anything. You know. I think that's upsetting. Got that husbando oh. though. I got I got a husbando. One single husbando. We should be so lucky to even get one. Right. I'm gonna toss the bulk. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, I mean. Somewhere a child I, cries. Yeah. Oh my God, children. Um, so, so what I think is interesting now is that, like, I, as much as I hate how many, like, different variations of the same card there are now, um, there's, I kid you not, like, four or five different versions of the same card and, like, for every V now, um. I'm okay with that because some of them people will play with and so you know just pulling them is cool and the prices right now are really good yeah for especially something like the expensive like the, that tyranitar the secret tyranitar uh, the alternate art yeah. tyranitar sleepy boy sleepy boy um it's like 135 right now that's awesome actually like because I, when i pulled it, it was 200 it's gone down mm -hmm. it'll probably continue going down but like that's a super sweet card like that's awesome and even if you just get like a regular tyranitar that's cool. And you can get the regular four and then the regular, uh, the, the secret rare. Like, there's four different versions of that card. Mm -hmm. um, 
It's just a pain trying to have to say, how, about, how about those Urshifus? Yeah. Okay, Urshifu. I don't like Urshifu. <laughs> Only because there's like 60 bajillion of them. I was going to say, yeah, like six single strikes, six like uh, double strikes. Okay, there's, yeah, there's six of each of those. There's three different, six different mustards. <laughs> Gross. Yeah. Barely even like one. Single strike and rapid strike, regular full art and secret rare. And then for the Urshifus, it's regular full art, alternate full art. No, regular V, V alternate full art, V full art, V secret rare, V max, V max alternate art, V max full art, or just V max, and then V max secret rare. There's eight different cards for Urshifu alone. That's ridiculous, in my he's, opinion. He's the cover boy, though, so I guess That's you got great, variance. But what's going to happen with Calyrex for the next set? Now we have eight different Calyrexes. I don't even know what Calyrex looks like. You don't want to look up Calyrex. Because now it's not just Calyrex, it's Calyrex riding on the horses, and there's two different horses. They're also doing that thing where we get two different elite trainer boxes because we have two different horses. Yeah, he's one we also, start in the deck. We also now have five different arts for the for the packs because we have the three birds and both of the Calyrexes. Wait, oh, Calyrex is that big brain dude, right? Big brain. Hell yeah, okay. Big brain, big brain boy. When you said riding horses, I'm like, oh. My other problem is he floats. Why does he need to ride a horse? It's like, a, like a lampshade. He floats like a lampshade. You use one of each art in the deck. No, you can only use, oh no, you can't use four. You can use four, because it's a... Oh my goodness. Uh, to be fair, there's a new alternate art Celebi that I am... I am... I really kind of want. Points, that that yeah. Celebi is really great, but yeah, the Alternate horse art horse. There's... there's... It's not wrong, though. I mean, like... Uh, I get this way when it comes to comics and way too many variants. Uh, so, like, yeah, with the Pokemon stuff, Dude. yeah, it does seem like a little too much of just kind of... Phoning it into some degree. Like, especially, like, when he is, like, the... Um, like Urshifu, for example, who was like the poster boy for uh, the the battle styles, because he was the single strike, he was the double strike, and then to have all those different ones seems kind of a little lame. I mean, even like when they have like um, three Charizards in a set where it's like shiny V and V Max, so that seems a bit much. But like twelve Urshifus in the same set. Well, the other problem is that like so the reason they're doing it this way is because Japan has it releasing. Uh, they. Our next, our chilling rain is actually three sets for them. Um, they have jet black, they have jet black <laughs> lance, matchless fighters, which was their last set, and then silver something. I don't remember what it is, but the point is that it's it's both Calyrexes and then matchless fighters was like a separate set. I think matchless fighters was their one of their um, supplementary sets. Um, I think we're on S six right now for them. So, no, 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 no. So, so the Japanese set is the original set. That's the, how we know what these cards are before they yeah, release. Yeah, the is because English set the English is like sets the, release after the, the fact. This is a Japanese game. Um, the, the, the thing with the Japanese sets is they're smaller sets, and they basically flood the market with them. That's why they're not super expensive. I've got a bunch of Japanese like Vs that are like two bucks, whatever. No one cares. Um, their full arts are fabulous. They have an amazing printing process. Um, and it's it's actually it's a completely different card, but we just use their art, um, and and the, it's it's just it's a smaller set. Every pack is guaranteed a like a hollow rare, um, but the way that they do it with us is that they print so many of the commons and uncommons, and so few of like the rare cards, which they're actually doing less of that now, um, like <laughs> stuff that I just pulled. Um, there's so much of it that they're just like, well, we have to make this rare. We have to make this a, a different thing. Um, and there's there's only so much that they can do compared to the the Japanese sets. Yeah. Um, the other problem right now, especially in America, is the um, the fact that uh, no one's printing cards right now. <laughs> it, everybody's printing PPE. The 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 way to Apparently, so did, did Nick tell you we can't get uh, comic bags? Yes, yeah, because plastic. Because plastic. You're thinking, oh, it's plastic, whatever, nobody cares. But it's like, no, they're using the plastic to make PPE. They're using the plastic to make masks. They're using it to make... It can be used for other things. They're necessary right now. Um, 
and like we were promised a reprint well, we weren't promised but but nintendo said that we would be getting a reprint of uh cosmic eclipse q1 of this year that didn't happen and we got a single print run of vivid voltage and now everybody's clawing at it and wants it but we can't get any more um because no one's no one's making them um and there's another thing that you'll notice for a lot of the the full arts and stuff uh depending on the print run um some of the uh the f the textures are different so for the cosmic eclipse textures there's not much much texture on that like in fact i'm gonna yeah this is unified minds and so the thing smooth with smooth boys this is very smooth this is uh, unified minds this is guardians rising guardians rising has a thicker uh thicker card and is like more textured than the stuff later on i don't know if it's because I, I know it's because they use a different printing process but like i don't know if it's because they're trying to save on anything maybe or i i don't know i just don't know um japan also has a different uh they have a different foiling process. They have a diff it's just completely different than it is internationally. Um, it's uh, they they have a thinner card and then a thinner um, texture on the on the card itself. Um, yeah, but Blue's Tactics is like you can barely tell it's got a it's got a texture. I just think it's interesting. Sweet background though. Oh, dude, this card is so cool, man. Yeah, Red's, Red's Tactics, Blue's Tactics, and Green's Tactics, which we never got in English. Uh, we might, I'm hoping we get Green's Tactics at some point as a promo. We didn't get the reprint of Marnie in English. Uh, we got Piers, but not the, not Marnie in her outfit. That was a Japanese-only card. Um, so, a lot of these details on each side. It's just, it's, it's, a, it's just the printing process. That's actually one of the reasons that, that Wizards of the Coast is no longer allowed to print Pokemon cards is because uh, they blamed Pokemon, f they blamed Nintendo for um, for stealing their printing process. You sons of guns stealing our printing process. Well, yeah, no, it was it was it was also just that Pokemon sniped a bunch of their executives and, and yeah. Watsy just went, no, stop that. And Pokemon we went, them. no, we're not doing anything. And then he got stupid. Um, that's 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 basically like like from what I've read, that's basically what happened. And I'm just like, you guys are, I'm like, you guys are like really big companies. What the heck? Mm -hmm. Nintendo's been around since 1899. Making those uh, act those, your age. Those playing cards. Right, and Wizards of the Coast has been around for what? I don't Not know. Not the 1800s. Yeah, something. Um, but yeah, this is still a it's still a popular thing. It's still a big deal. Um, yeah, so I opened a bunch of I'm gonna swap code cards. I saw I opened a bunch of stuff and yeah, I didn't really get much, sadly. Just gonna It is what it is. I like I do appreciate what they're doing for the new stuff, but at the same time I'm just like you're flooding the market and it's not a bad thing, but it's just there's so many of the same card. <laughs> like or so many so many of the same card with different art. Yeah. Like that's just become mm -hmm. a whole gotta catch all yeah, all of them. All, every single. Gotta get all of them. It's a it's a TCG. It's a, it's thing. becoming a CCG because nobody's playing. Yeah. What are you gonna do? They're just trading cards. Classic trading cards. Collectible card game. Mm hmm I mean, it's a, I mean, that's what these are. Um, I mean, th this is this is more of a TCG than this CCG right now. Um, but yeah, this is a it's just, it's just an interesting it's an interesting thing. And and the other thing is that like. Prices on cards are going to go down. That's just how it happens. Um, what are you doing? Oh, you're good. Okay. Just change the focus if you're if you're not showing off cards. No, we're good. I think I'm see set. See those boys. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, prices on cards are going to go down, like, depending on the age. Um, really what it is is it's the, um, like, uh, like, a lot of collectors are going after the older stuff. So prices on those are going to fluctuate a lot. So it, it's not the printing, Stark. Stark says, uh, another thing I find strange is how they could do off-center printing. It's not the printing that's off, it's the cutting that is. Oh, yeah, it's not... <sighs> QC I mean, is a problem. Let me... I, What's up? You can kind of see... <sighs> probably awful, but those those two posters they've got back uh, uh, there uh, are basically card sheets of, like, full cards. Can we take uh, one down off the wall? No, nah, it's, it's okay. too much process. Okay. Uh, but either way, what it is is it's a full card sheet for like Magic the Gathering, and like they're printed like that in like a, you know, like ten by fifteen card row grid, 
and uh, you know they're printed all on one sheet and then they just cut them. Uh, so it's not the printing that's off center. It's when they're cutting it, it's not like perfectly centered to like you know whatever uh, uh, you know. So so when they do millimeter. that, every every sheet has its own barcode, and sometimes they just miss the barcode and they don't go back and fix it, um, and like they don't reprint it. Um, what it is, is is like every card is supposed to be every, every sheet. Excuse me, every sheet is supposed to go under, undergo quality control and do a certain thing. Sometimes things happen and sometimes things go wrong and things get miscut uh, or miss just just you know misdone at all. Uh, they're cut in a very specific way. Um, I've I've seen some cards that are severely miscut to the point where you can see the next card. Yeah, exactly. Like I've seen I've seen several of those. Uh, there was actually fun fact: uh, Jumpstart for Magic the Gathering uh, is known for its. I wouldn't say terrible quality, but certainly like it's it's known for having some very severe uh, miscuts, misprints, misfoils, uh, missing uh, sometimes getting missing ink and sometimes getting doubled ink yeah. from different cards and then getting cut and put together in a pack. It, things happen. Um, it just it what's really frustrating is that you can't do anything about that once you get the card. That's just it. Mm -hmm. um, for instance, the Aerodactyl is just slightly off center. Like you don't don't, don't even mess with the, the camera. But like you'll notice that like this side is slightly wider than that side. Like that's going yeah. to affect. Which the happens. Side. I mean, like right. that's that's. There's, the, the problem is there's nothing you can do. Yeah. <laughs> it just and it's I'm a thing that happens. I'm sure they have like a range of like acceptability because you know like when it's when it comes down to it, yeah, it's like off you know like a couple millimeters. millimeters. And like if you're playing the card game, that usually doesn't matter. But if you want to be like you know like anal retentive and collector and you're trying to find like the perfect one you know well then it does matter because in we've, theory there we've is had a... several people be very angry at pricing because like the, the card was slightly off center and i'm like dude this is still a near mint yeah, card exactly. I, yeah, I don't that's... have any control over the we're, we're not of it. we're not grading or pricing them for that <laughs> right. it's just is it near mint yes like it being slightly off center isn't bad it only matters if you're trying to get it uh graded and then at that point you know it's out of your hands, yeah. and, and I've I've actually seen some some graded cards that I'm that they were like, yeah, it's 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 slightly off center, and I'm like I'm looking at it going, I mean I can't I can't really do anything about that. It's too late. You sent it in, you know. What do you want me to do? Um, it it's just that's just quality control. It happens. Um, Japan is it's also just where they're printed. Japan is slightly better about it than uh, than the U.S. is. Um, for Pokemon specifically, I'm not sure about Magic the Gathering, uh, but from what I've seen, uh, there have been better better printed cards in Japan, uh, printed by Japan. Um, because Wizards of the Coast is now printing in Japan, Belgium, and I think Texas, or Georgia, or both, I don't remember. Um, but again, nobody's printing cards. They're running out of the, like, like Pokemon claimed that we are going to be getting um, uh, like the reprint of another uh, reprint of Cosmic Eclipse in Q1, and then they said, uh, "Oh, we're going to be reprinting a bunch of other things." And yeah. th but then they told then they told distributors to tell the to stores, uh, "We're running out of the products to print the cards." <laughs> and then they said to the public, "Oh, hey, we're running out of the products to print the cards." Yeah. And now I'm sitting here going, "Well, are we going to get the reprints? Yeah. What are, are we my, doing? Where are my What's, cards? Where, 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 are you printing the new stuff, or are you just doing?" Are you reprinting stuff? Are you? Mm -hmm. They they claim to be opening another um, another facility and letting that go. But I mean, I, to be fair, there's not a whole lot they can do. If they were if they were the product to print the cards to begin with, they can't put the cards at all. So, um, and and in fact, the 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 posters <laughs> that we have back there are from World Spark from like two years ago. Yeah, those are from yeah, those are old. What's up? Please do. Please do. Bye. It's not, not really sneaking if you announced to everybody yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, yeah. Can I ask your assistance tomorrow? Tomorrow, like, I'm supposed to have a meeting with a bunch of library, a couple of librarians, and we're going to talk about comics. Sweet. Thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate See, it. Got it on camera, so I can't turn it down tomorrow. Exactly. Right, if yeah. you do, I don't mind. No big deal. No. Well, then uh, it's on Roger, help me. What are we doing? Pokemoning? Uh -huh. Yeah. Pokemaning. Pokemoning. Hell it. Yeah, Where right. am I? Oh, sneaky. <laughs> See, that's how you sneak. I sneaked up on myself. <laughs> Snuck. <laughs> Snuck. Snuck. Sorry. Whoa. Johnny, oh, stop! That, 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 yeah, that door <laughs> snuck up on you. Bye. 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 Uh, uh, I got some error cards. This is the stuff I got. It, it, yeah, it, it. 
again, it happens. It's just rare. Um, it's it's kind of a weird thing. There yeah, are places. I mean, everything. That... There's. I mean, anything that's manufactured like that. There's always going to be like quality control issues of you know, uh, whatever can go wrong probably will at some yeah. point. It's just a matter of does it then like slip past whoever is supposed to be keeping an eye on that stuff. Um, and like that's the thing. It's like the centering stuff for the most part doesn't really matter like they're not gonna like throw a card away if it's like a millimeter off center um but yeah there are some times where it's like like where i said we're like it's so poorly cut that you could actually see the next card that's like uh its neighbor to like the left or right which is or awkward. even top or bottom i've seen that too. yeah exactly yeah um or those like crimp ones um so yeah oh, those some, are cool sometimes yeah just certain ones just slip past uh whatever quality control it was is last and week or the week before there. i had a crimped card in the pack and that what that that happens when the packs aren't quite perfectly like a line yeah because it's, it's whatever the, the machine is that like yeah like squishes the 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 pack the crimping shuts. machine crimps a card yeah yeah because i was like this pack's open what the heck oh it's a crimped card in it because it got crimped and then didn't quite get sealed because i think it's heat treated or from what i hear crimping isn't easy out <laughs> <laughs> Head out with Johnny. Basically, um, yeah, sneaking out. Um, yeah. So yeah, I mean, it's it's not, it's not completely unheard of. Stark. It's just something that you know. It just happens. It happens. Again, jump start was a big one with that mm -hmm. with that problem. Um, mostly just for. I think, then, actually, I, was, I think it was actually the printing and not the cutting of that. I think it was. I've I've heard stories of people getting weird misprints in that in that set. Um, just at all. And then yeah, there's there's always going to be. Um, to some degree a market for those misprints anyway because uh People depending like on cool. i mean you know like it, it goes all the way back to like stamp and like uh, uh currency printing too there's always like weird errors that sometimes make uh you know this stamps or or currency more expensive because of it what is it's, it the uh the infamous that uh that stamp the upside down biplane yeah like the, yeah, the, yeah, the, it has like a feel like a the, the lorry or lolly whatever its name is but yeah um yeah. It's funny because I'm reading I'm reading Going Postal and that's that's a thing that they, they exactly, comment yeah. on. Where they, they're making stamps and there's yeah, some stamps with issues and people are like, oh, I'll spend money for that. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Misprints um, uh, people want. And Nick's Nick's wife collects crimped cards, which Crimp. gotta have Scrimps. a hobby. Yeah, exactly. Scrimps. Shramps. Um But yeah. Yeah. That's, that's I mean that's, that's Pokemon. That's Pokemon. The entirety that's, of Pokemon right there. A, oh dude, I I went crazy and wrote a bunch of blogs and on Pika stocks and it's uh it's it, the history is really interesting, um, but there's there's a lot of information that I just can't find. Uh, mm -hmm. In fact, I had to find an article from like from 2003 that uh, that explained what was going on with Pokemon and Watsi, and it was it wasn't very detailed, but there was enough in there that I could read between the lines and be like, oh, they're just yelling at each other cool mm -hmm. great all right that seems dumb but i mean it's a business decision cool that's fine uh that's actually the reason that sky ridge is so expensive because that was a single print run mm -hmm. um there's very few cards that was out in the out in the wild yeah. um and then especially sealed product too oh dude good luck finding sealed product for that um i'm gonna have nick tell you the story of the the, the beta I'll, I'll explain that to you later sure that was that was that was really funny uh, because that the beta packs for Magic the Gathering go for like ten thousand dollars a pack, and we had a draft. <laughs> it was eight packs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or on Gen Con of like 2018, 20, 2017. That was a big deal, uh, and I got to sit in the card with those. That was fun. <laughs> that was I didn't know. I didn't even know. I'm like, there's a bag over here and like some luggage. That's mm -hmm. cool. I got to sit in the van. You know, for an hour. That was fun. Protect the cards. A week later, Alan's like, oh, yeah, those are the beta packs. I'm like, what? <laughs> I, I could have done something, and I didn't. <laughs> could have drove halfway to Mexico by then. I could have. I didn't. I, well, I didn't know they were there. Um, Nick had access to them, though. That was really funny. There you go. All right, guys. That's. I was gonna say, yeah, that should, just that should be it. I'm, yeah, I tried. I Any, failed. When's the next set come out, Rice? Not till June. We may have to skip next week. I have some stuff to do. Um... We'll figure it out. Yeah. We'll see what we can do. We'll, we'll, uh, we're we'll running out of product. Post if, uh, as usual, like an hour or two uh, so beforehand. Um, but yeah. Yep. Probably just about does it. Uh, and stores getting busy. Yeah. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching again. We really appreciate you watching. Uh, hope you guys have fun. Yay. Have a good rest of your week. Bye, everybody. Bye. Yay. No problem. Thanks, Dark. Thanks, uh, thank Logan. Thank you, everyone. See you guys later. Bye. Cool. All right, I'm going to go.